Okay, it's day three with Dolly. So let's see how she does. She's better um, at not kicking and just standing, behaving herself, eating her food. Um, she's, she's a little more patient than she was at the first milking, um, but her udder is quite hard. Um, so I hope she lets down better for me today and really lets that milk out. Um, we're watching for mastitis. She's shown a little bit of sign of that. Um, so I'm gonna run a quick mastitis test card on her, which looks like this. These are just the Dr. Nailers cards. So basically I'll stick it underneath. I'll milk out a few squirts on each one of these dots and I can see um, the, the colors will change from yellow to blue green if uh, it's really just a pH indicator. So if she has mastitis, the pH of her milk will change and this will show me that. Um, it, this, is, this isn't an end-all be-all, um, but, but it is a good, a good first step. So let's see how she does. I'm gonna get her cleaned up. All right, Dolly girl, don't kick me. Oh yeah, she's probably sore. She is definitely going to kick today, so we're going to go with the kick bar. All right, so this bar presses over the top of her spine, and then it presses in the flank right here, and it just keeps her from kicking. She can still shuffle, shuffle her feet, but if she tries to kick at me with this leg, um, it's going to pinch a nerve, and she, so she won't want to do it. It's basically just a pressure thing, so let's see if that helps. I may not have it tight enough, I'm not sure. That a girl. It's okay, you're okay. When I put my hand right here, it helps me gauge when she's about to kick. And also, I can put pressure back to discourage her from doing it. So I'm going to start by stripping a little out to the ground. There's Miss Dolly Girl. Here's her card. So I'm not really seeing anything. Um, she had a little bit of clumps in her milk yesterday when we strained so that's what i'm watching for okay so this bottom right dot where it's bleeding off a little bit on the white part of the paper you can see it's a little tinge of blue green so that's showing me that the other ones aren't they're they're pretty yellow showing me that she has maybe the beginning of some mastitis. So what we're gonna do is just milk her out twice a day for now as she's transitioning off of, of having a calf keeping her drained and um, see if that does the job. I can tell she's not letting down for me just by the amount of milk that's coming through these tubes. So I like that there's clear tubes so I can see that, but if she had, she should have let down with just washing her off. If she had let down, as soon as I put the inflations on her teeth, I, I should have seen milk. Um, so that's not happening yet. That's okay, it's only day three. I, it's usually day three when they let down. So this is what the kick bar looks like from the back. <clears throat> it's basically like a C shape, so it goes over the top of her spine, and then you can adjust accordingly to get a tight fit under the flank. So if she tries to kick out with this leg, she's gonna get some pressure right here on the flank and on the, on the top up here and not wanna do that. <clears throat> um, you can see how tight the front of her udder is. So we'll also use some Dynamint cream to help her let down. I need to get some. Um, and we'll do just hot compress massage and that'll help her let down too. So right now we're only milking for these little lambs until this mastitis clears up. We won't be drinking 
make the milk. We won't be trying um, to make any cheese or anything with it. We'll just feed it to chickens and lambs for now. Hey, we're almost done. I, I didn't lock your head in, did I? All right, we're gonna clean you up, baby. And then we do an iodine dip. <clears throat> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> She's gonna try and take it. Hold on, hold on, Dolly. Before pooping. <laughs> that was really good timing. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go filter milk, see what that looks like, hose this out, and uh, get on with my day. Come on, Donna girl. <laughs> Sometimes it's crazy like that. Okay, so here's Dolly, day four. Do you need the bar today, Miss Dolly girl? I hope not. Good girl. Okay, flow is okay. So I always start on that far side her left side um, because that's the harder side for me to get to and so if I wait until she's aggravated or she wants to be done or if I'm hand milking if I wait until the end to do that um, I, she's more likely to kick at me and it'll be harder to get her milked out also it saves my back a little bit at the end of milking to do the side closer to me um, that's a tip somebody gave me before we first started milking our hazel girl, and that's just something I've stuck with. Also, cows are super, super into routine, and when I started with hazel, I've just kept that up. Anything different kind of throws them off. You can see the milk coming through. Okay, she's milked out. Um, she didn't kick not one time today, and, um... I feel like she gave more, so that's exciting. Um, she has a much cr thicker cream line than I expected. Her, her second milking was two nights ago, and that milk has sat until this morning. I fed it to our lambs, and um, it had a real nice cream line. I'll show you that here. See what happens. Um, I realized after I got started, I forgot to strip her out before I put the machine on her. So. Um, if today's milk was good, I would be able to keep it. We'll see when I filter it if it's good or not. But um, as it turns out, it's not good anyways because I forgot to strip. So another milking that we won't be keeping for ourselves. But that's okay. That's not the point. The point is to get her trained and to get her emptied and keep her healthy. All right, let's filter Dolly's milk and see what it looks like. is filtering slowly so that's one of two things or maybe both things it's thick and creamy um, or is she still showing a sign of mastitis in which case it would filter more slowly because the filter would get clogged creamy milk also clogs the filter though so we'll know when we're done
I mean, it's like, I may have to change the filter out. I wanna look at it after this jar is finished. So I'll do that. Come on. <laughs> oh, beautiful. It's, it's just thick and creamy. All right, so you can see that circle where the milk was flowing through. So, so slowly, it's just creamy. It's just thick, creamy milk. This is really just a paper filter. I mean, we really are asking a lot of a piece of paper here. <laughs> so when the milk gets real creamy, um, it tends to clog it easily, but she's got no clumps, so that's really good. Um, we're gonna finish filtering this out and, and make sure of that. So cool. Okay, so new filter is in there. You can see it's flowing through a little better. All right, so just a little more than five quarts or a gallon and a quart. Um, she's doing good. She's doing better. She's also about a year into lactation, and she's not a big producer, especially for a Holstein. So um, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased with what I'm getting. I hope that she can limp us along until hazel calves in July. All right, it's day five of teaching Dolly how to stand for milking. So let's see what happens. run one of these cards again today here at the end of the milking so that um, I can I can just check on the pH of her milk to see if there's any sign of mastitis here It looks good. I don't see any blue or green coming through. Looks just yellow. So that's good. If she filters clean, then we'll keep her milk for us today. That's exciting. All right, day five milk for Dolly. About five and a half quarts. And we're gonna check the filter. Let's see how this looks. Pretty good. Just thick, thick and creamy. Day six. Okay, so today on day six, I can tell that just with washing um, and doing that pre-strip, she has already let down. Her teeth are full, so she's she's ready to melt today. I'm, I'm excited. All right, I'll turn on the machine. Okay, she did just have one big kick. It was on the side that was milking. Um, I've already gotten moved over to the side closer to me. It was one of two things. That side, that quarter was done, and I hadn't gotten the, the inflation switched over yet. 
um, and she knew it was done. It probably was uncomfortable to leave on there if she was done. Um, or the cat just ran by that side. <laughs> she may have kicked at the cat. I don't know. I think she was kicking at the inflation. Um, she also strongly dislikes cats, so um, who knows. All right, end of milking day six for Miss Dolly. Um, I feel like her udder is pretty well cleaned out. Um, the, she only had the one kick, and the more I think about it, the more I think it was probably the cat. <laughs> Just a swift kick as the cat ran by. Um, yesterday when I let her out of the stanchion, she felt the need to stop where she was walking out to push the cat off of a post, so that was pretty funny. Um, and then I texted the friend that brought her to us, um, and she said, oh no, she hates cats. <laughs> so that was funny. Um, yeah, I feel like she did really, really well today. She didn't kick at me at all. She let down. I feel like she probably gave the same amount of milk, so I'm gonna go in and filter it and see how it looks. Okay, this is day eight, and you can see how much better Dolly's milk is filtering, um, how much more quickly it's filtering through. We still haven't tasted her milk um, because it's been filtering so, so thick. I've been a little concerned, but um, I'm gonna taste yesterday's here shortly because it's been chilled for 24 hours. Um, but she's doing great. She's standing perfectly in the stanchion. Just one day with that kick bar stopped her from kicking anymore. Um, she's, she's, I think I can effectively call her trained to stand for milking. So, um, awesome. We have another milk cow here trained, ready, ready to be milked. Okay. <clears throat> This is yesterday's milk from Dolly. This was day seven. She was really good. Milk filtered clean. Um, her cream line. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is today's. <laughs> she, she gave a whole gallon and a half today. This is yesterday's. Her cream line on this one is right here. Let's see if you can see that. Um, not sure how well you can see that in this lighting, but um, I'm gonna give it a taste. Since it's chilled for 24 hours, there's no smell to it. Um, sometimes, this time of year when the green grass is coming in, there's kind of a cowy smell to uh, to the milk for a little bit when it, they're first transitioning to that. And I say cowy. If you know, you know. If you don't know, um, it kind of will smell like a cow's breath. Sometimes it's so strong if they gorge on that green grass or, or fresh green hay. Um, that we don't even drink it for like a week, but um, that's not usually the case. Sometimes um, if a cow has a touch of mastitis, one of the signs is that the milk will be salty, so I'm tasting for that. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna see, I don't know, it's been a long time since I've had raw Holstein milk. Um, we've been getting our Jersey and Brown Swiss milk up until now, and both of those are very sweet with a heavy, heavy cream. Um, so let's say down the hatch. Tastes like milk. I, it's not sweet, but it's not salty either. It's good. It's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call her trained. She, the milk is clean. She's healthy. We're gonna start drinking it, using it, yogurt, cheese, um, maybe some butter. I'm not sure how much butter fat is in her cream to make butter, but we'll give it a shot. And um, like I said before, hopefully we can keep her in milk long enough until our Jersey calves in July. So that's four months from now. So thanks for sticking around watching how we train a milk cow. Dolly is an exception. She was handled a lot before she's been in the show ring um, with a boy. She's been handled by her prior owner quite a bit. They were careful to um, make sure that she was touched all over her legs, her udder, her belly, her face. Um, so that wasn't completely new to her. If she had not been touched, it would have taken me longer to get her trained. She really only had one day of kicking um, that I had to watch for, but one day with that kick bar and she quickly picked up that that, that kicking isn't gonna get her what she wants. So. Thanks for following along and uh, hope to show you more of our Dolly and Treasury and Hazel as uh, the year goes on. Bye.